Half-Life. I'm just getting around to it now. After all these years is a mystery. It's been sitting in my Steam library for years. I was originally planning on waiting until Black Mesa, the sort of remake-y thing of Half-Life. I was going to wait for that. Which was supposed to come out, I think it was July, so pretty soon here. But I just looked on the Steam thing, and apparently they delayed it till December. They added some fixes to change. I think the game's pretty much already complete. It's just the last chapter they have to f release and whatever. But they decided they're going to do some more changes to the game and stuff. So I thought I'll just play the original Half-Life and then maybe go back to it come December. So, yeah, let's get right into it. This is pretty loud, this menu sound. So I might have to change the volume later, but... I'll start it up. New game. Select the difficulty. Or the training room. Maybe the training room's a tutorial or something. I'll see. Unless it's just like the easiest of the easy difficulty, who knows. Ooh, the sensitivity feels kind of weird. Mouse. Mouse sensitivity, I'll put it up to four. Gotta be exact. That feels pretty good, I guess. Hello and Holy welcome. loud. Uh, now which sound is the one I want to lower? MP3 volume? Welcome to the Black Mesa. Glitch? Hello and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will appear to demonstrate certain moves. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will appear to... Okay, thank you, lady. Kind of glitchy, though. Ooh, what's this? These sound levels sure are weird. I, it's deafening one second and quiet the next. Okay, so sound effects. Is it MP3 volume? Or HEV suit? I'll try. I actually have no clue. What the heck? Do I gotta jump down here? Let's see. Okay. The answer to that is no. Welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be Hello and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. Let's begin by st If you see one of these buttons, What is going on with this thing? To demonstrate certain I think it's bugged or something. I can barely hear that. Moving around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. Mm -hmm. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with basic movement, and soon it will fit you like a second skin. I will see you just around the corner. Okay. This can't go there. This is so weird. We will practice in the hazard Good course. thing they have that arrow there, I wouldn't know where to go. You will attempt to get over this set of pipes using only your run and jump commands. It helps to get a running start. Watch me and then try it yourself. What the heck? Okay, I guess time for the running start. Holy crap, I'm a pro. Hardcore master? Or is that free, free running? Crouching will automatically shift yeah, your close enough. Into stealth mode, minimizing movement noise. Okay, I'm gonna see if there's a way to toggle the crouch. Uh, actually, never mind. This is Source game. Well, maybe not. I think this is before Source, but crouch jumping is something you gotta do a lot. So, okay, so I gotta crouch under this. I move pretty fast crouched. One thing I like about Source games, even if the textures are kind of terrible, 
And these are kind of jagged shapes. Still doesn't look too bad. Good they support high resolution. Now we will combine skills. You will need to jump, duck, and then jump again. Holy if crap, this is getting complex. Room, where you will have to do both moves at the same time. This could be bad. Who's that guy? Looks like a genius scientist guy. Okay, the moment of truth. Yup. Yup. Good work. You look prepared for the next Hey, another one. Wait, how many scientists are there? They're watching me. To get into these pipes, you the movement is so weird, it's like you press the button. Jump. Like you, you hear this. Right Listen and see if you can hear me press the button. And continue to press forward. Then jump it's like I glide for a little bit after. Go into a crouch. It's tricky, but you'll find it. Okay, this is where hand. crouch jumping comes in. So shift makes me walk, I guess. This is hard to line up this stuff with the with the weird glidey movement. Nice job. Thank you, lady. What a weird pipe thing. Yep. Walk directly into the ladder. Look up and continue moving forward. If you want to come back down, just move. So far, this tutorial's had pretty obvious stuff in it. Time, but they are quite possible. Don't be surprised if you miss the last one a time or two. If you can make all three in a continuous run, you are doing well. So what do I gotta do? Just jump across this? Great work. Now there's one more style long of jumping, jumping you requires need to learn. own charging module. Seen here. To activate your long jump, you will have to duck and move forward, and then launch into a jump. Once you're up on the platform, press the button and I will demonstrate the move. Okay, this is getting way too complex for me. Okay, well moving forward, hold the hold down the duck key, then press jump. Nice Holy jump. crap, that was weird. It's back here. That duck jump is kind of kind of weird. Uh oh. Getting kind of dangerous looking up in here. Hello. Please start the lift by moving up to the button, looking at it, and pressing the use key. Now that you're up here, there's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit it. Is if you take any damage from the fall, we will administer medical care at the next station. Well, that blood stain, that's a good sign. This is some weird volume levels though. It's like certain sounds are definitely loud, others are quiet, I can barely hear. You will find med kits like this one throughout the black Hold down the compound. key until the health is a hundred. Walk up to a med kit and press your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you are at full health or the kit. Okay, hang on a sec. I'm going to quick look up half-life volume levels. And it brings up all kinds of sciencey information. Half-life. Hmm, yeah, nothing seemed... Wait, didn't she finish talking? Open. So I gotta figure out what the MP3 volume is. Guess... Who knows? That's weird when I press the use key when there's nothing to use, it just makes my guy stop. To spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Press up. Okay. Oh, that's pretty high tech. Fantastic. Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than just your suit to get through a tight place. Try jumping this gap on your own. What you really need to do is push that box down into the pit. Pushing is easy. Just move forward against the box and you can push it. If you can't push the obstacle out of your way, you might try pulling it. 
To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key to keep a grip on the box, move slowly backward. The box will come along with you. Oh, that's easy, you know. I get up here. Finally, if nothing else works, you can try breaking the objects in your path. Make sure you picked up the crowbar, then simply smash your way through the debris. <laughs> wow. Ouch and break. This movement is going to take some getting used to. Okay, now what? Your suit flashlight for the next area. This flashlight power? Wait, use flashlight key? Oh, F. Flashlight sure isn't very bright. Ooh, what's back here? Yep. Taking all the shortcuts. Remember your flashlight drain power. So switch it off when you don't need it. Welcome to the Black Mesa Target Ranch. Training and firing a weapon. Reloading. Ooh, time for the big guns. Grenade launcher. Please pick up your weapon and advance to the firing station. Okay, I got a weapon and grenades. I wonder how I use the You'll grenade launcher. You have to hit every target in order to complete the course. But if you okay. miss the first time, don't worry. It will come around again. Try to reload during pauses rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire your grenade launcher, use your alternate fire button. Certain targets will break only Alternate fire grenades. button? Alternate fire button. Yes, so mouse one and mouse two. No aim down sights in this. Okay. Press attack you one for primary attack. Oh, what the heck? That thing's hard to hit. One. Yeah, I'll try reloading. Oh, it's behind the glass. Unbreakable. Oh, juke. Unbreakable, I guess. Please advance to the next area. Okay. I'm gonna turn down the volume just a tad more. It's pretty loud. Mm, that looks good. Not any quieter though. ATV suit monitors blood oxygen levels, warning you when you need to find an air supply. As a lot of settings have changed. That's the thing with all these source games. Um, guess no subtitle option. Is that all you have to say? Okay. Wait, that's not where I was supposed to go. Press the forward key, aim with mouse as you soon. Blood oxygen indicator on your suit's heads up display returning to its previous level. You are free to swim on to the end of the course. This is the charging unit for your hazardous environment suit. When you are running low on power, step up to any charger and press your use key. Your suit will recharge gradually until the charge unit is depleted. Individual batteries may also be used to charge your suit. So my suit's at 68%. Oh. Drain quite a bit in this short tutorial course. I'd have to be if charging you it a lot. In fire or steam, you will see a heat damage icon lighting up. Directional indicators at the center of your display show you where damage is coming from. Okay. Or register on your heads up display. Direction of damage. Huh. Ow! Proximity 
to radiation, activate the Geiger counter and radiation display. Biohazards are also indicated with Okay, where's my Geiger counter? Uh oh, don't wanna go in that. Please advance to the next area. Okay. A lot of loading screens. Lead a security guard into the next room. I wish you hadn't he will come let to you this. back into the transit system. You must approach a guard and press your use key. Okay, that's not what I was supposed to do. Maybe he'll follow me anyway. Come on, security guy. Ow! Lead a security guard into the next room. Press your use key to get his help. The transit system. You must... Oh, he did his job. Almost dead. My suit's out of power, though. What the? Press your use key to engage the train. Press your forward and backward keys to increase or decrease the speed of the train. Press your use key again to disengage. Oh, you hear the heart monitor thing go beep. Am I glitched? Oh. <laughs> okay, press my use key. Okay, come help me. Sure takes his time. There, that's easier. Press your use key to engage the train. Press your forward and backward key to engage the This is pretty weird. Gotta hold the use key. Oh, I guess I don't have to hold it. Congratulations uh oh. Completing the Black Mesa Hazard Course. You are now fully certified for use of the HEV Mark IV protective system. Okay, well, I guess that's that.